Hello, good evening and welcome to Superior Star Wars Show where today we are doing the first ever versus video and putting the Millennium Falcon head on head with the ghost. So let's get right to it and run that intro. So let's start off with the Millennium Falcon, shall we? Uh, the ship's original designation was YT-4927270 ZED and was formerly known as the Stellar Envy. The ship itself was a Corellian YT-1300F light freighter and was most famously used by the smugglers Han Solo and Chewbacca during the Galactic Civil War era of Star Wars, but has been seen throughout Star Wars canon. Um, the ship over its long lifetime or runtime has been modified by many people such as Lando Calrissian, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Uncar Plutt, Ray Palpatine, sorry, I mean Ray Skywalker and Rose Tico with a couple of other people have made their little personal touches to the ship. So now for a little bit about the Ghost. The Ghost was a modified VCX-100 light freighter made by the Corellian Engineering Corporation and was owned by Hera Sandola. She named the ship after its ability to evade and basically be unseen by any Imperial sensors. The ship was used by the rebels during the Age of the Empire. Um, as, part of the as part of the rebellion, sorry, the ghost saw many and like, so much action and numerous skirmishes against the Galactic Empire. Although it's quite an old ship, really, with a lot of battle scars from its dogfighting days, it still performed very reliably, as we will see later on in the video. So, in this video, we're going to put both ships up in the corners with a mark of zero and go through each category, marking them out of five. Um, and well, we'll go through the categories, give them their scores, and see who comes out with the most points at the end. So let's get straight to it with our first category. So our first category is size. Because we're talking about freighters here, size matters. The bigger the ship, more points you're gonna get. So let's start with the Millennium Falcon which came in at a length of 34.75 meters, a width of 25.61 meters, and a depth of 7.8 meters. Where this ship is not the biggest freighter in the world and not the smallest, it's got smack bang in the middle with three points. But then we go on to the Ghost, um, with a length of 43.9 meters, a width of 34.2 meters, and a depth of 14.5 meters. The ship's bigger, so I'm gonna give it four out of five. So in this category, it comes down to speed. And let's start with the Millennium Falcon. Max speed in atmosphere when it was under Lando's ownership was 745 miles per hour, which is about 1200 kilometers per hour. But after all its upgrades later on, um, it actually got slowed down a bit in atmosphere and had a speed of 652 miles per hour, which is about 1,050 kilometers per hour. The Millennium Falcon also, when it was owned by Lando, had a class one hyperdrive, but later on got upgraded to a 0.5. The ship also had a class 10 backup hyperdrive. So this makes the Millennium Falcon one of the fastest ships in the galaxy. So it's gonna get a five out of five when it comes to speed. So moving on to the Ghost, it had a top atmospheric speed of 636 miles per hour, which is about 1,025 kilometers per hour. This isn't that good considering that's actually slower than a, like a standard tire fighter. But the Ghost also had a class two hyperdrive with a backup class 14 hyperdrive. Where this is really standard for a freighter, I'm only gonna give it a three out of five when it comes to speed. So next up, we have shields. Starting with the Millennium Falcon again. Um, trying not to butcher the pronunciations too badly, but the Millennium Falcon had a Torplex Deflector Shield Projector, 
a Neurotoxicon Unlimited Anti-Concussion Field Generator, a Novadex Status Type Shield Generator, and a Kuat Drive Yards Shield Projector. Um, we've seen the ship also take full on attacks from Star Destroyers in the past, and it's taken a bump and survived, just about. Um, so we're gonna give the Millennium Falcon a four out of five. So moving on to the Ghost again. The Ghost doesn't really have any stats when it comes to what shields it has, but we do know it has similar shields to the Millennium Falcon. So we're just gonna give it a three due to not really having the most all the best information about its shields. So now getting onto the arm, and time to get the guns out, eh? Um, starting with the Millennium Falcon again. Uh, under Lando, it actually only had two RM76 heavy laser cannons, but later on with all the modifications, the Millennium Falcon ended up having two CECs, uh, AG2G quad laser cannons, two ST2 concussion missile tubes, one Blast Tech AX108 blaster cannon, known as the Ground Buzzer, and two Plython C5 tractor beam emitters. And then going on to the Ghost, as we do, uh, the Ghost had one dorsal laser cannon turret, one nose laser cannon turret, um, a Tamenback MS2B twin laser cannon, a Tamenback KX4 dorsal laser turret and two proton torpedo launchers. So with all these, we're gonna give the Millennium Falcon a four and the Ghost a three. So, moving on to crew, passengers and cargo. As we do, start with the Millennium Falcon. Million Falcon had a minimum crew of one, a recommended crew size of a pilot, co pilot, and two gunners. As well as this, the Falcon could have six passengers in relative comfort and had a cargo capacity of 100 metric tons. Uh, this is pretty standard for a ship of its size, so I'm going to give the Falcon a three out of five. Going on to the Ghost though. Uh, the Ghost is very similar, same thing, has a minimum crew of one, uh, one co-pilot, one pilot, two gunners, uh, six passengers in comfort, but this is where it has the upper hand on the Falcon, is that the Ghost had a cargo capacity of over 100 metric tons. We don't have a precise number, but we do know it's a fair bit more than the Millennium Falcon, so the Ghost is gonna get four out of five. So, going on to reliability. Let's start with the Millennium Falcon. Eh? Let's face it, reliability for the Falcon isn't good. He's, he's broken down a fair couple of times. Granted, his pilots like Han Solo has always managed to put it back together again. But when it comes to reliability, it's a liability. <laughs> So many of the only get a 2 out of 5. Uh, but going on to the Ghost, the Ghost has also been through the wars as we know, taken a beating, but has always been very good when it comes to reliability. So I'm going to give it what well, I think is quite a fair score and give it a 3 out of 5. So moving on to other systems, the little extras that make the ships special. Starting with the Millennium Falcon, as we do, um, the Falcon had 10 20M-CP strobe um, and like C-beam lamps. So basically the, the Millennium Falcon was kitted out with some torches. But other than that, the Millennium Falcon also had a autopilot system, which came in very handy. Floating pontoons, which are just blow up boats. It did have a AFCOM 2 med unit, which always comes in handy, and a Dejeric table, or a Dejeric table. So with all these little extras, I'm gonna give the Millennium Falcon an extra three points. So the Ghost. The Ghost had um, engines which were baffled and energy dampeners. 
also along with that has static jammers to make the ship incredibly hard to detect. These features and over 87 illegal upgrades to the ghost stealth systems, like this allowed it to mimic solar uh, fluctuations or cosmic radiation on many sensors. So nearby ships couldn't even tell it was there. Um, so that's amazing that the ship was basically undetectable. But as well as that, the Ghost also had its um, auxiliary starfire ship, which was called the Phantom. It was a modified uh, VCX series auxiliary starfighter that could dock with the mother ship, as I said. Uh, this ship alone came in at 11.63 meters, had a speed of 1,200 kilometers per hour, which is about 745.64 miles per hour. I mean, the Phantom itself also had a hyperdrive, which was a class two and had a backup class 15, which I know isn't the best, but you know, this is like an auxiliary ship for it. Um, I mean, the Phantom also had its own weaponry, had a um, twin laser cannon and a extra dorsal laser cannon turret. Um, I mean, the Phantom also could have one pilot as well as up to eight passengers, you know. But anyway, enough of the Phantom. The um, Ghost also had one really cool feature. It had e external loudspeakers. So, you know, if it would put up to a party, you know, and a built-in sound system. So I'm gonna give, mainly because of the Phantom itself, but the Ghost is gonna get a five out of five when it comes to other systems and the optional extras. So, this is our outcome. The Millennium Falcon with 24 points and the Ghost with 25. Really close overall, really, isn't it? Um, I suppose it really comes down what you need the ships for. If you want straight up speed, you'll have to go for the Falcon. But if you want something a bit more versatile, like with the, with the uh, Phantom, you have to go with the Ghost, you know? Um, let me know in the comments below if you would have worked the points differently or just let me know what your favourite ship out of two is in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like this video, share it to your friends, family and all that. Uh, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're pretty much everywhere and stay tuned for the new videos coming out. And um, I'll tell you what, have a superior day and we'll see you soon.